and lead us not into pointless reboots, but deliver us from prequels. For thine is the Iron Throne, the One True Ring, and the Phoenix Down. For endless extra innings, Batman. Batman. Soren, you uh, didn't say Batman. I'm sorry. I, I just have to say, even though we've never mentioned it before, we do this weird nerd prayer thing before every meal, and I don't know. As a jock of faith, I have to say I'm a little offended. Offended, buddy. We put the extra innings thing in there for you. That's a sports thing. You think I wanted that in there? No, I had this reference to an obscure Broadway musical. Oh, buddy. No, that's not why I'm a... You're dominating the religious thought of the table. What if I was, uh, I don't know, Shinto? God, I would love that. Do you know Shinto Grace? Do Shinto say Grace? I don't know. I'm Protestant, obviously. Soren's right. We should have been taking turns to respect everyone's beliefs. I'll go this time. But we already Our Homer, did, uh, who art it mows, hollow be thy brain, thy duftum come, thy will be dough in Springfield as it is in Shelbyville. Explain. He's the chosen one. I am the Messiah. Homer Simpson is the ultimate being, ageless, deathless, in a constant state of spiritual growth, yet with the optimism and present focus of a bodhisattva. Nam yo ho kyo You just made yourself a powerful enemy. <laughs> I guess I'm more powerful than God now. Yeah, see, except I was talking about a real religion. Yeah, you can't say Homer is ageless because he's a cartoon character. That's a cop-out. Hey, you're the one that pointed out that he lives thousands of years into the future, and in that scene, it's clear that Smithers and Burns only survive thanks to cyborgism. Homer not only thrives as he is, but multiplies. And let's go the other direction. There is a scene in season two that is set in Bible times. A scene, not a flashback, not a vision, not a dream sequence, a real scene in ancient times. And Homer is there. Ah, oh, good evening, Homer the Thief. And not only that, but Homer is the only character that we recognize. So that means that Homer was really there, surrounded by all these people who are long since dead, acting, talking, and being the same Homer 2,000 years ago. Also, other people definitely do die. So death is a possibility in this world, even if it is just a cartoon. Asa Phelps in season two dies by holding onto a grenade for too long. And then again in season 11, triggering the flying hellfish taunt team. And Gladys dies in the Duff Garden episode. Okay, for the record, I still object to all of this, but did you guys ever notice that Frank had a wife and kid? His kid clearly dies in a drone accident, and then his wife splits, I think, because we never hear about either of them after that one moment. Just like my son here. <laughs> oh dear. My wife is going to kill me. Grandpa's girlfriend, B, died of a burst ventricle. But I know she died of a broken heart. And yet, Homer, who has had multiple heart attacks and at least one open heart surgery, doesn't even have a scar. <laughs> now, under heart attacks, you crossed out three and wrote zero. Oh, I thought that said brain hemorrhages. Strokes? None. No, wait, three. Well, that's the first case I've ever seen of a man suffering four simultaneous heart attacks. <laughs> Which is weird when you consider that Krusty's pacemaker scar has been consistently drawn in ever since it was established. It is a real Krusty. Look at that pacemaker scar. It, clearly Homer's got healing factor. That's why his beard pops back whenever he shaves. Smooth as a baby's behind, Papa. Also, well, he has no concept of death. When his mom dies, Homer wants to water the ashes to bring her back. That's the kind of idea you come up with if you can't die or feel pain. He does take a lot of punishment. Oh, no. April. Dad, you didn't even say ouch. Oh, sorry. Ouch. That's very Christy. Hashtag still offended. Counter hashtag Christy the Clown. Yeah, but guys, this is all cartoon business. Okay, taking physical punishment is so common in animation, it can't possibly be a power. Homer is not special just because he survives injuries that would kill live action, Homer. Oh, James Gandolfini. John Goodman. Jabberjaw. Daniel Day Lewis. The world is ready for a method, Homer. I think it's all relative, though. Homer can withstand a lot more punishment than any of the other characters. In Bart the General, Bart has injuries that seem real and have lasting consequences. Dad, I need help. Bart, you can't go on like this. I know. <coughs> Same with Martin Prince in the Soapbox Derby Trials. It hurts! It hurts! Owie, 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 owie. 
Son, you're lucky to be alive. I'll never race again. And yet, Homer can fall 20 feet and then get up and do a dance number. Or fall down a flight of stairs and then get up and give a high five in the next scene. Or the ultimate, God himself. He tours Homer around heaven and says he's got six months to live. What's the meaning of life? You'll find out when you die. I can't wait that long. You can't wait six months? Even if we assume that every episode of The Simpsons represents one day, let's say, of their life. Which is being conservative. There are a few strong clues to suggest that it takes place in real time. Don't worry, Bart. It seems like every week something odd happens to The Simpsons. Because that's the kind of guy I am this week. The following takes place between 2.34 p.m. and 3.04 p.m. Any way you slice it, it's been at least a couple of years since God and Homer talked, and Homer is still alive. He eats poison fish that's supposed we to kill him, to and it just... Doesn't poison. 24 hours to live. 24 hours? Well, 22. I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long. No explanation. Just fails to kill him. He falls down a cooling tower while nonchalantly screaming, see you tomorrow. Ah, see you tomorrow. Drinks Barbicide and out loud asks why he can't die. Uh, why doesn't anything kill me? But simple immortality is not why Homer's the one true god. I mean... Unkillableness is like the minimum prerequisite of godhood. No, Homer's real power is mind control and being the center of the universe. Homer's son, sisters, right! Well, Homer's gone. Let's all go into our suspended state till he gets back. And accomplishing every dream, goal, and ambition he has while still maintaining enough struggle in his life to provide room for spiritual growth. Explain. Okay, first of all, Frank Grimes was right. More grimy, as he liked to be called. Homer's resume would make Forrest Gump <laughs> do something stupid, probably. You know, I've had a lot of jobs. Boxer, mascot, astronaut, imitation uh, crusty, climber, baby farmer, inventor, trucker, smithers, poochie, hippie, celebrity uh, assistant, power plant worker, fortune cookie writer, beer baron, quickie mark clerk, homophobe, and missionary. And his greatest joy in life, Marge, is constantly returning to him because of streets that she drives down that serendipitously guilt trip her into forgiveness. I mean, he's achieved his life's dream several times, and yet he always has another life's dream ahead to look forward to. As you know, it's been my lifelong dream to become a blackjack dealer. Your lifelong dream was to be a contestant on The Gong Show, and you did it in 1977, remember? Your lifelong dream was to run out on the field during a baseball game, and you did it last year, remember? Your boyhood dream was to eat the world's biggest hoagie, and you did it at the county fair last year, remember? Hang on, I thought you were opposed. Oh, no, no, I'm on board now, but just to be clear, I'm not endorsing the religion, just the topic of discussion. All right, well, somebody's got to oppose. I flipped a few minutes back, and ideas don't matter if they're not in conflict. Oh, don't worry. Heretics will be dealt with in time. Fear Maggie of the pistol and the mallet. Uh, I'll oppose. So, Homer is incredibly lucky. Granted. Don't I get some kind of trophy? And the person who traveled the least distance to be here. At a big award ceremony? Homer Simpson! Oh my god! Homer Simpson! Oh my god! Homer Simpson! Oh my god! Woo Double stars! Everybody wins! Who, me? Yeah, sure. Woohoo! In fact, I think he explicitly says that he's gotten everything he's ever auditioned for. Why do I succeed in everything I auditioned for? And his prayers come true. God, if you really are God, you'll get me tickets to that game. Idly ho, neighbor. And whenever he relies on something magical, like a wishbone, it always turns out to be real. Okay, ready. Check it out, boys. My magic bed. Uh, I don't know if all that adds up to omnipotence. If Homer is God, he clearly doesn't know it. Yeah, yeah but isn't that the greatest setup? God knows he's God, and that's the burden. He has to be responsible for all of the tragedies in the universe. In a way, the sweetest gig would be to be all-powerful, but still think of yourself as an everyday Soren, just trying to make it. Examples. Homer often gets guidance at the perfect moment from a higher power. TV. Why don't you call right now? I'm as happy as a smoker taking that first puff in the morning. That could be Lisa. Good thing you turned on that TV, Lisa. I didn't turn it on. I thought you turned it on. No. Well, anyway, turn it off. It is off. 
But uh, what about his job? He hates his job, and his family is constantly broke. <laughs> Bart's family is poor. We ran a study about that. Money doesn't make you happier beyond a certain point. There's a perfect income bracket for the average American family, and anything above that, mo money causes mo problems. Yeah, it was like $75,000, I think. Quick, what does a nuclear safety inspector make? Oof. It ranges depending on what site you use and what search terms you use, but and if you take an average of the first- $75,000. More like a mean of 78.5. Of course, if you want something done right, it doesn't always come quickly. Is that what your dad said when you were conceived? Is that, are you implying that my dad is long lasting in bed? To my shame? Oh yeah, uh, I guess I am. Sorry, I meant the reverse. Here, team me up again about how uh, things take longer. I don't want to. The point is, who says God would be rich? Right, Mr. Burns is rich, and he's miserable. Take a look at Herb, Homer's long-lost brother. I mean, he's been both rich and homeless, and he's been miserable in both states. The only time he's been happy is the short period where he lived in the Simpsons' house. And his boss never remembers who he is, no matter how many times he f***s up, which leads to a pretty stress-free life. What's the name of this gastropod? Simpsons, sir, one of your chair moisteners from Sector 7G. One of your organ banks from Sector 7G. Fork and spoon operators from Sector 7G. Is this the one with the lazy sperm? Mm -hmm. Who was that corpse? Homer Simpson, sir. <laughs> One of the finest, bravest men ever to grace Sector 7G. <laughs> Why, it's... It's, a. Uh, oh, it's, a. Uh... Oh, it's Simpson, sir. Why, it's Fred Flintstone and his lovely wife, Wilma. Trust me, I know. Jack still calls me Candace. I guess. Except that one time your boss forgetting your name sends you into a rage spiral. Who is, who is this beast that's shaking me? No! And Daniel's on board. All right. Religious conversion score three for three. All right. Full conversion. I don't know what I did to make you think you converted me, but I'm sorry I did it. I'll expect you all to attend a baptism in donut batter at the bowling alley this Sunday, 8, 7 central. It's BBYO Nacho Hat. Ooh, okay. I call St. Grace for that. Oh, yeah? What blasphemous joke of a faith do you practice? Our Lady Firefly of Serenity? A base Windowism? Dr. Who Dayism? Oh! Oh! Uh, Star Trek Church? <laughs> I was born a snake handler, and I'll die a snake handler. Yeah, good. Nice, solid Mo reference. No reference. I actually handle snakes. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah, sounds good, Candace. What do you bring them in? Like a Tupperware? How does that work? A sack? That is the wrong <gasps> thing to say to a snake handler! Hi everybody, thank you for watching that video. Please like and subscribe as always. Also, before you do any of that, close down the video, reopen it so we get the extra view, mm. double views, all yeah. the way across the board. Uh huh. Keep doing that all day, and uh, you're putting Soren's kid through college. Are you speaking nipples? What are you doing? <laughs> this is money, this is money.